seriously, seriously, this is a problem. My own brother, you know. The first time, it's like, all right, like he doesn't know what he's doing alone. The second time, not gonna lie, I'm getting a bit embarrassed because as a unit, as a family, we look weak. But this. The fuck am I supposed to do with this? Hey man, you're bare annoying. <laughs> Don't ask me to boo you roach again, fam. <laughs> You're lazy! You know that, right? <laughs> so when do you find out? End of week. How do you feel? Good. Just don't know about these loans, man. You know you only start paying it back once you get a job, right? Something small like 60 quid a month. You wouldn't even notice it coming out of your account. Really? Yeah. Boy, fuck all that. Do you know, remember our cousin Ozzy? Went uni, innit? Just like this one. You know what they had Ozzy doing on his grad job? Making tea, fam. Like he's some fucking Chai Waller slumdog millionaire. And guess how long they had him doing that? Two years. Two fucking years. And when he finally gets promoted after two hard years grafting, Ozzy, they're thinking he's gonna be on sets directing music videos and that. No, wrong again, lad. Coffee. <laughs> and you laugh. Boy, this is where you're headed with this uni ish. Real talk. How you expect people to respect you living on your knees like that? You see me living on my knees. He's not you. Yes, my brother. What are you saying? <laughs> Don't lie. Oh, I'm not even surprised, you know. She's been a gag from time. Ah, right, cool. Say no more. In a bit. Ah, right, love it. You lot, I'm got a dip. But Trevor's got party tonight still. That little Trevor from back in the day. Yeah, you remember? Of course. Yo, hold up, Gino. I need you to do a drop. What? Since when? Since now. Here, go to the spot, pick up two in a queue for screws. Get four and a half for mystery. Whatever's left, bring to your boys. Have you even bagged it up yet? Shame, it's gonna take long. Excuse me, do you wanna get drunk or do you wanna make money? Jimmy, it's been a minute, man. Hey, listen. Now, I can see you don't smoke weed no more, and that's good, yeah, but I thought seeing as you called this little reunion and that, the least you could do is have a drink with me. Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't know, it's my mum's. Explains a lot, you know. Fuck you, bro. I saw your dad in Tesco the other day trying to buy his liquor with an Oyster card. <laughs> <laughs> Just standing there, like, rocking back and forth, like. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did you ever think it was me who snitched? Yeah. But you 
knew it was me they were looking for. I knew. You were always the loud one. You know, I remember exactly what happened that day. It was a lunch break on a Thursday and these wanted a couple ounces that I standed. So I jumped on my bike and dipped home. I was wrapping up what was left in the quarters when they kicked the door in. I was so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed about a lot of things, you know? My notebook, the food, the scales, they had the whole story. The case fell through because of insubstantial evidence. Substantial evidence, you believe that? And that's the only reason I'm coming out of uni now instead of coming out of jail. I never knew that. I never asked. Boy, I thought you hated me. Do you know now? <laughs> oh, you know, I thought it was weird when you called me the other day. It's out of the blue like that. Should have known, I guess. Why is that? That you could never change. But all you see is what you want to see. What? You got a bad memory. You forget who put me onto this in the first place. <laughs> You're arrogant. You've always thought you were better than people, innit? Definitely better than me. You show up here after four years and start telling me how I should be thinking about my little brother. The fuck you know about Gino? Well, you went uni and you read a few books or something and now you know what? What? At least I'm trying. <sighs> Look, I know. I know I was a prick to you. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But what you're doing What you're doing, all this, and using your own blood as a runner. You're an embarrassment. Go on, say something. It's only smart now. What do you think it's like inside of a prison cell, Shay? Do you know what it smells like? Do you have any idea what it's like to be stood 18 years old inside of a bullpen with fucking cycles all around you, staring at you? And that's not even the worst part, Shay. Nah. Do you know what the police paint on the ceiling of your cell? Fake windows. Fake fucking windows, Shay. With hills and sunshine and rainbows and all that shit. I cried like a little bitch, Che. The same man that everyone was scared of. You think Gino can live that life? Sweet little boy like Gino? Nah, of course you didn't. Because it never fucking happened to you. Not once did you ask if I was okay. Not once. If you just came and saw me, it would have been fine. It would have been fine. Oh, fuck. 
fuck's sake, Chambers. Mr. Travers. Joseph Kilber Harold. Yeah. Say. What are you so happy about? 